recent times, the concept of smart city gained so much of popularity. And thanks to the Internet of Things technology, the concept and the idea of a smart city seems to be achievable. In this video, we are going to present one of the IoT smart parking system which we have developed in Technology Academy. This system is used to monitor the status of every parking available. By applying this system, we can reduce the stress and the time for the driver when he is looking for a parking. In order for this system to be successful, we need to have a parking which is coming with a sensor and this sensor is going to collect the data to a certain cloud system. And then the clients from their mobiles, from their laptops, they will be able to access the system to see the status of every parking available. In order to demonstrate the system, we have prepared here the parking board, which is having four parkings. Every parking is having one LDR sensor, which is the light sensor, and two LED. These sensors is going to collect the data or the status of every parking, and it will be pushed to our development board, in this case, which is Raspberry Pi. And from Raspberry Pi, the data will go through the gateway, and from the gateway, it will go to the cloud system. In my case, it's my laptop. So from my laptop, I'm going to get the data from all of these sensors to my cloud system. So this is our application. Here we have four parking, exactly what we have in our port. And in every parking, we can see the status of that parking. What we will do now, we are going to park one car and we will see how this information will be reflected in our system. So now it is telling that the parking is busy. So if I will park the second car, I will see that the second parking now is becoming busy. We can see that here we have one green LED. This green LED is showing the status of the parking also for the person locally. So if you have parked your car, that green LED will switch off. If you will remove your car, that green LED will turn on again. Means that the parking is available for anyone to come and park. The second thing we will demonstrate is how to reserve a parking. Because even if the parking is available on the application, the moment you reach that parking, maybe it will not be available anymore. So in order for us to reserve the parking, here we have prepared one a red LED. If this red LED is turned on, that means somebody have booked and reserved this parking and no any other car allowed to park here. So from the same application, we can go to the parking which we want to reserve. In our case, for example, we want to reserve parking number one and we will click on reserve now. The moment we click on reserve now, the red LED now have turned on. If I will reserve also the second parking, I will click on reserve on. The second parking red LED now have turned on. It means this parking is also reserved by some other player. In order to ensure for the customer that the parking is being reserved, a mail will be sent to that client when he is reserving any parking, mentioning that the parking number one, for example, is being reserved for you. So now we have parking number one. If we want to reserve parking number one, again, we will go to the application. We will click reserve now. The moment we click on reserve now, an auto mail will reach that client, mentioning that your parking is being reserved. So here we will go to the mail. If we will go to the inbox, we will found that this is to confirm that parking number one is being reserved for you. For a future development, storing the history of every parking is very important. Here in our application, we have a report which can be generated and it is a lifetime report. So if you will go to the second page, we will see that all the parking status is being recorded for the future reference. 
So by applying the IoT Smart Parking System, we can reduce the stress and the time for the driver to look for a parking. And of course, this will increase the happiness and the satisfaction of our visitors and our clients. Thanks for watching.